What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the new Blood Warriors for the Age of Sigmar. These guys are really good looking. Like, I don't know what's going on at Games Workshop Design Studio, but man, I tell you what, these Chaos Miniatures for Corn are pretty awesome. Of course, they're following right in the footsteps of the Blood Reavers from last week, where you got 20 models to a box for about the same price. I think it was about $58. Now you get 10. They're a little bit bigger, a little heavily, heavily armored warriors that you know have all that great corn stuff that we've come to expect you know the brass trim the crazy helmets you know you got random dudes that just don't have any armor because why not right corn rar <laughs> um you know it's these are really good looking i wish the chaos you know had something like this in 40k i wish the berserkers were this good i wish the cultists looked as good as a blood reavers you know some faction items things like that it would be amazing you know you've got stuff that out there for 40k that's you know 10 15 years ago where here we've got these new computer aided design miniatures all 3d sculpted and all that and, and you know what if, if you have a time on your hands to hobby these things up and make them into berserkers or something crazy for 40k you know go right for it because you know we saw all the stormcast stuff coming through like that and why not do it for some of the corn stuff because I mean at the end of the day all this stuff is fantastic looking and I wish that you know we had such good up-to-date miniatures for the 40k side of things but that being said, you know, Age of Sigmar is a pretty, pretty fun game. I've, I've said it on here before. <laughs> Got a little bit of hate for it, but that's okay. I, I don't mind talking about something I believe in. You know, I've played about mm, four or five games of it so far, and everyone's been a blast. You know, it takes about an hour or so. I played with, I guess, about, you know, 50, 60, 60-ish models, maybe more. It's hard to tell sometimes, but they're fun games. They go well. They go quick. And, you know, as long as you're playing with somebody that's a really fun opponent, you know, you can... Hey, I'm bringing a war squirrel. Hey, I'm bringing a battalion. You know, I'm this that. You know, let's play with this many war squirrels or something. You know, just keep it keep it kind of balanced. Keep it you know socially acceptable between you guys, and uh, and that's what you can do. Now, again, kind of you know looking at some of the color theory and, and things like that here. You know, they they do a really good job with some of these unique kind of color schemes with some of the teals and the blues in here, mixing in the vendergris. You know, the nila oxide kind of technical paint in here, which is really cool to see. Now we know those uh, airbrush paints are coming next week so obviously doing hobbying for games workshop is going to get a lot easier uh, to do the citadel miniatures here in the near future because you're just going to be able to crank those puppies out you know all right so you got three sprues in here and they're all different which is really interesting I hadn't seen that in a while so you got three different sprues all containing bits to make the the uh, the blood warriors themselves then of course you get the 32 millimeter bases booyah pack of them and your instruction manual which is really important here because as you're about to see some of these guys are actually it's, it's semi complicated to put together so let's just cover that real quick so always make sure that you're reading all the instructions before you dive into projects like these so you don't get get got and uh, you know kind of clip everything off and then like oh crap I don't know where it goes everything here looks pretty simple and easy obviously you can do the gore fist or the gore axe and if it's not the uh, the unit upgrade champion and then here you got the interchangeable leg parts which is pretty neat torsos are separate heads are separate these guys all look like the lord of skulls heads in my opinion from the big uh corn i guess it's a super heavy kind of vehicle thing and then you got all your axes right and left hands but what's cool about this is that they're actually wider you know they're wider than like a space marine shoulder pad kind of thing so they lock in and just make sure that you're grabbing the right one so that the designs you know kind of match up and kind of because there's a space right there for the horn and then the horn kind of overlaps so you kind of see what i'm saying there you don't want to don't want to mess that up too bad and then you got the blood air blood warrior with the gore glaive right there missing some you know he doesn't have a shoulder pad because raw corn <laughs> right and then you got the standard bear too so that's really interesting to see they're pretty cool looking you know as far as that goes really good looking bits on here like i said easily convertible over to you know a different line perhaps you want to make some some of the guys of corn you know berserkers whatever you want some axe for your um you know chaos space marines you know it, you, the sky's the limit when the chaos warriors kit came out the plastic the old plastic chaos warriors that you couldn't you know get their axes at the uh, at the arm socket they were just right in at the wrist you know so to speak right here people still wasted no time converting those things up and those have been out for like 12 years now you know so you get something like this which is basically chaos warriors you know <laughs> times two the design wise and size wise and interchangeability wise you know i can't see why we're not going to see a ton of cool conversions out there for these these particular guys here you know mixing and matching with chaos space marines in general and then you got these great legs you know 
all these cool looking shoulder pads right here the two parters we were talking about then you got the, the um gore fist right then you got your gore glaive all your axes and crazy stuff right there and then if you take a look you know at the actual legs right there itself that have the two-part legs these could actually easily make you know you could easily put chaos space marine torsos on top of there if you really wanted to not that i'm saying everything needs to be a cast space marine but in the scheme of things why not well no you know <laughs> i'm just associating it to what my mind naturally wants to you know wants to put it to you could even easily turn those into some sort of space marines or even chaos warriors themselves for the same game but maybe not you know necessarily corn so there's all sorts of different options here's the other sprue that also contains heads the axes uh the gore fists and the torsos themselves right there and the torsos keep in mind are a two-part kind of deal you got the front and the backs right there so really cool looking stuff and then you get to basically what amounts to the command sprue that has the standard on it and then all of the rest of the parts in the bits and things like that and this crazy looking big heads right there and then you've got all your axes and the big thing to make sure is that you always put the two parts of the shoulders like stuff like this right here make sure that you're putting those on you know the right ones because you don't want to mess that one up so this apparently is going to be one of the last age of sigmar kits uh to be released i guess in the initial wave it looks to be about going to be about a nine week wave um that that the last release coming out this weekend i want to say or next weekend the celestent prime and that is seems to be maybe what's going to bring up the rear on this one of this uh this big release here because we are hearing all these rumors now about tau coming out for 40k and it looks like the uh the age of the age of sigmar is about to be over now you also have the airbrush paints that i talked about and those are really cool because you got the color you know you got the color mask so like if you want to do this red here you know you spray them all down red and say when you're doing going in and doing your trim with your gold you know you're doing your your sick fades with your red you know from top to bottom you know uh axial highlights and things like that and then you go in with your gold and you get some gold on this red well now the airbrush paint supposedly matches the actual paint itself you know the layer paint so you should be able to go back and kind of you know block out where you got the gold on this stuff you know to kind of clean up and tidy it up at least that's the idea uh from reading the white dwarf that they're kind of going for which i think is a great idea it definitely makes hobbying a lot easier you know it seems more um simplistic and less time consuming so definitely more appealing to a lot of you know hobbyists out there and it seems like that there is always more and more hobbyists jumping on board trying to learn the hobby itself you know always wanting these tips and jumping online it's a great resource you know to be online to to have these uh you know talented painters out there like kenny doing tutorials over at next level painting you know i try to do some here and there myself but got got a lot going on in all sorts of different directions obviously already but you know where i can i do definitely like to help as well so it's a really good time you know to obviously be picking up new ticks and trips and it takes tips and tricks so to speak for the hobby and i think these airbrush paints are going to be great obviously i want to do a big review of them as well because you know everybody's wondering hey is this just watered down paint you know to to push through the airbrush or is it actually something better you know from games workshop because they, they got the same dropper bottle so nobody really knows but as far as the age of sigmar goes looks to be about one of the last releases we didn't see the flesh hounds which was i was definitely looking forward to a new plastic flesh hounds i hope they come out in the future we didn't see the prosecutor models either either the you know the sigmar the flying dudes that look like kind of like angels with little comet wing kind of things that the big celestin prime is basically uh, a huge uh, version of himself so that hopefully will be coming out as you know a splash wave hopefully they don't do this like nine weeks of you know whatever and try to break it up you know maybe three weeks of 40k one week age of sigmar you know two weeks age of sigmar or something like that because there's really only about four codexes left to come out you got tau needs to come out you got chaos regular chaos demons and i mean maybe blood angels but technically blood angels have a seventh edition codex technically so not so sure about the blood angels but definitely tyranids need an update because they have all this content from the shield of ball books that uh <laughs> needs to go into an actual codex as well so their codex is probably going to get a lot bigger it's probably going to be about the size of you know the the craft world codex or the dark angel codex or 
the Space Marine Codex itself because it's going to have all that material in it. So obviously exciting times ahead for the hobby and for Age of Sigmar and for hopefully 40k. And these, you know, if this kit is any indication of what we can expect in the future from the talented, you know, studio sculptors and, you know, people out there doing all this work for Games Workshop, well then the sky really truly is the limit because nobody else out there is putting out <laughs> this kind of quality plastic miniatures on the market obviously today I feel like so well that's about it for this one thanks for listening to my little rant and checking out the new Acorn Bloodbound Blood Warriors I'm not gonna do a review on the Dreadhold that's the new crazy castle just because as much as I want it because I love all things chaos I just cannot afford it right now I'd love to do a review of it and set it all up and get it all put together but you know maybe in the future that will be something we can do here when you know we have a little bit more support and a little bit more things uh, going in the right direction. We're still setting up the new studio here, uh, you know, to be centrally located for doing all the long war stuff with the long war crew. So hopefully we get a little bit more settled, and after the holidays we can look at doing lots of cool new things that you guys are going to want to see. Definitely, the sky's the limit. I almost feel like on a lot of days here so uh, make sure you stay in the trenches subscribe to this youtube channel check out the blog spikybitsblog.com and head on over to longwar.net that's the home of the battle ports for exclusive content and early access videos and now tons of discounts from retailers on the net and manufacturers as well become a veteran of the long war today